So today we are here with Colin, who is our Holden Vintage and Classic Lucas expert. Um, Col uh, Colin has written a fantastic book called Ignition and Timing. Colin, can you tell us a little bit about this book, uh, how long it took to write and how it came about? Yeah, sure. Um, basically, I was contacted by a publishing company to say, would you write us an Ignition book? Um, first of all, I said no, because I can't write a book. Um, but they said, have you got the technical knowledge? Um, to which I had. Um, they said, well, if you can provide the technical knowledge, we will teach you how to write a book. And you've been, you've been in Ignition and Timing for a long time. What sort of, where did your expertise come from to write this book? Yes, yeah, 36 years I've been in it now. Mm -hmm. um, I started off working for a um, classic car parts company, um, got interested in this side of the business, the distributors, and found out they could be modified so you can use them for different cars. Then I started collecting technical information on them as much as I could find, rebuilding them, um, generally co collecting bits and things for them, and ended up with more technical information than Lucas Technical. So I used to be approached by Lucas Technical themselves to help them with their vintage inquiries, all the old ones that they'd got. Excellent, excellent. And so can you tell me a bit about ignition timings, maybe the difference between an electrical system and a, a mechanical system? Yeah, um, basically when um, distributors started off and right up until about 1973, 74, um, distributors were mechanical, points and condenser based. Um, then in about 74 electronics came in where they replaced points and condenser for what they were thinking was a much more reliable unit. Yeah, and so if you were putting a, an ignition system in your car today, would you say that an electronic system would be better than a mechanical system? Oh, that's a difficult one. Half and half, I would say. The mechanical one is much more um, user-friendly, let's say. If you broke down on the side of the road, especially if you were doing a classic rally or something like that, a mechanical one, you would get going. You'd mend it and you'd be off on your way in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. An electronic one, even though it gives you better running, better performance, if it breaks, end of story. It is broken and that's that. You're stuck. <laughs> yeah, so mechanical's better if you're maybe abroad and you don't know where the next shop is. Exactly. And if you yeah. were just sort of the normal man on the street, if you had this book, would you be able to fix your, um, your ignition system? Yeah, this will show you the guidelines on how to um, do the basic repairs, um, normal servicing, contacts condenser, uh, what to look for um, to find out where your fault might be. Um, so this is a nice, easy to read, um, general description on what for you can do, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Now you mentioned the distributor. What, dis what role does the distributor play in the ignition system? That's basically the heart of everything. It distributes high voltage to all of the plugs. Um, and one of the main criteria of it is that it sends the high voltage to the plug at the correct time. So as your timing of the car is correct. Um, if that's wrong, you get misfiring, you get bad running. So it's very critical that it's right. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, so is all this information in this book? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. And would yeah. you say this is the best book on the market at the moment? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, it's certainly the most user friendly um, because lots of very technical uh, I mean, there aren't many ignition books on the market, um, but the ones that are, are probably aimed at motorsport or a bit too technical rather than general help for the general person. So it's a, it's a good, easy-to-use book, yeah. That's fantastic. Um, and I imagine you've, you've looked at very many ignition parts over your years and time. When you were writing this book, how many ignition parts did you look at? Hundreds. Um, basically every component, um, especially things like rotors, contacts, nowadays they've been remanufactured several times. 
So rather in the old days you just bought a Lucas item, now that item might have been re reproduced four, six times. So I bought every one I could find, every variation, and tested every one so as we could end up with what we know as the best product. Yes, um, yes. and so this, this is what we have on our website now. So That's what hold and sell, yeah. Yes, we yeah. try and keep the best yeah. ones always yeah. working. Yeah, we, I mean, lots of cases, especially... Um, vacuum units for instance or condensers they might be quite a bit more expensive but they are a different league in quality yeah it pays to buy the best on these because yes. they'll let you down otherwise yeah. so um can you tell me about a time that where maybe a car was let down because of a, a bad yeah. distributor or an ignition system yeah it well one springs to mind um it was where somebody had converted a distributor to electronic ignition. Um, certain electronic ignitions, the distributor has to be perfect as new condition. Um, if it's not, they can really let you down. And what happens is, um, on this, in this particular case, um, a customer went out, fitted an electronic ignition. It was a competition E-type Jag went to Spa to race, halfway around the first lap it blew up because the distributor was worn and this type of ignition is the one that you cannot put on a worn distributor. There are ones out there which you can put on a worn distributor but he unfortunately chosen the wrong one. <laughs> just a bad mistake to make. <laughs> Expensive mistake, especially yeah. when you've just shipped your car to Spa to race. Yes, yeah. 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 Um, how long did it take to write this book? Um, I was given a year, and it took me two. Um, basically, it was all the research that was involved, making sure that the information was correct, um, all the photography, um, getting the parts together. So yeah, it took me two years. Um, and can you tell me anything else about the book? Um, any other things that you think might be interesting to our well, audience? Yeah, there is. There's um, a lot of technical information but basic technical information that's useful. Um, spark plug charts, um, so you can work out um, which spark plug you need or if you want to change to a hotter plug or a softer plug, it explains it all in here. Um, how the numbering system of spark plugs works. Um, accessories and how to involve um, other bits of um, machinery to sort of make things better, um, like rev limiters and things like that if you're going into motorsport. Um, it explains all the different types of electronic ignition, which are good, which are bad, and it explains how to time the distributor when it's actually on the car, so there's a good um, section on that. Fantastic, um, and is it mostly for British cars, this book? Um, yeah, this is aimed at um, Lucas distributors for British cars. Um, but saying that the same um, theories go into any distributor. So although this just lists the British things, you could use the same on a VW, Bosch distributor, or um, Yeah, saying that, you've got, you've got the German version yeah, behind you. Yeah, um, uh... somewhere here. <laughs> we've had the book translated into German, um, professionally translated, I'd like to say, and it does make sense, apparently, so my German friend tells me. Um, but this is only available in Germany. Um, and it's basically the same book telling you about British um, ignition, for which there's a hell of a lot of British cars in um, Germany. But again, use the theories for um, any distributor you like, yeah. Excellent. So is there anything else you'd like to add? Buy it. Right, yeah. <laughs> so this book, uh, oh, not the German version, no. the British version is available from Holden Vintage and Classic. Um, we are open six days a week and we have a website www.holden.co.uk. You can call us, you can call Colin on 01885488488. Yeah, I'm here Mondays till Wednesdays for technical advice and help. Yep, so we've got this book and all the distributors that you could want. Um, please get in touch. And I'll also be putting a link on the website to for our German customers on where they can buy the German version. Right, thank you very much.